in one of the lessons with my grade nine, um, I gave them this question, basically, and most of them worked out, but around four students came back and asking, giving me solutions to this question. I was really, really impressed. I was sitting there smiling at the car back, um, watching his own daughter and sons making it, and it was incredible. Um, it was just after we finished um, equations, um, quadratic equations. And um, in this case, I just asked them one question. How many terms do we have here on the left-hand side? Because clearly you can apply rules of multiplication. You can apply rules of division. There's nothing basically we can do here. And all I asked them to do was to count how many terms you've got. And um, did they also realize that these are like terms? And when I said these are like terms, most of them just started adding two with two and with two, and they ended up having um, six to the exponent of x. Okay. And obviously, I was wrong. Okay. So I told them to count the number of terms. And I asked them one question, um, how many terms you've got on the left hand side? And they said three. And I asked them one question. So since we have three terms, what is it that you notice? And you realize that in these three terms that we've got here on the left hand side, we've got two to the exponent of x as a common vector. Okay. So I asked them to take it out. So take that common vector out where there was two to the exponent of x in all these three terms, you'll just be left with one. Incredible, isn't it? And then you just add those ones. So one plus one plus one, that'll give you three. Now we've got two to the exponent of x times three, but we don't want that to be because we need to be left with only one base that has the unknown exponent, which is two to the exponent of x. So how do we get, that, get rid of that three? Since it's multiplied by 2 to the exponent of x, obviously, since it's multiplied, you just have to apply the reverse operation, which is dividing. But when you divide the left hand side by 3, you also have to divide the right hand side by 3. So the 3 is on the left hand side will cancel out, but 6 divided by 3 will give you 2. But that is 2 to the exponent of 1. And we now have same basis on both sides, which is what we are fighting for. So once you have same basis, same basis, you just equate the exponents. You drop the bases and just equate the exponents. So x is equal to one. Obviously, they asked for more, and then I gave them this one here. Okay, same principle, but now we've got that nine there, which is giving us problems. So you go back to the basics. You take that nine, you prime factorize it. You write it in the simplest exponential form, which will be three squared. And once you have written it in exponential form, we have a bracket and we have a binomial exponent outside. You just have to multiply those exponents. Okay, the ones that I've just highlighted in green. So I'm gonna have two times x and two times one, which will simply give me two x plus two. All right. And now you'll realize that it's taking a shape where we have two to the exponent of two x, but now it has plus two. And then we've got plus 3 to the exponent of 2x. And then we've got minus 2 times 3 to the exponent of 2x. We've got three terms here. We need to take out a common factor. However, the first term is giving us problems. This term here is giving us problems because it has 2 there. So we can take 3 to the exponent of 2x out as a common factor because of this 2 here which is added to the 2x. So how do we get rid of this 2 here? You apply exponential rules in reverse, the rule that when the bases are the same, you add the exponents. In this case, you go back to the bases. Here, the exponents are added, you go back to the bases. So you're gonna give that three to the exponent of, um, you're gonna give that 2x its own base, which is three. And you're gonna give that two its own base, which will also be three because they share that base. That's why both of them are raised uh, as an exponent of the base three. So I'm simply going to split that exponent. Split it. And this is what I have. Immediately when I do that, you notice that now we have a common factor, which is three to the exponent of two x. Take it out. When you take it out, what are you left in the first term? 
you'll be left with nine in the second term, you'll be left with one in the third term, you'll be left with two. Incredible. Okay. Right. Now, all these terms that are inside the brackets, just add them. You will simply take three squared, add it with one minus two, and that will give you eight. So on the left-hand side, I'll be left with three to the exponent of two x times eight. To get rid of that eight, I just divide both sides by eight. Two one six divided by eight will give us 27. Now I need to make sure that the bases are the same on both sides. Change that 27 by prime factorizing it. Remember when you prime factorize using a calculator, you just, this is case your calculator, fx 991za plus, okay? Or any other uh, plus, plus calculator, case your plus calculator. You will put into your calculator, just press on and then put into your calculator 27, okay? After pressing 27, press the equal sign. So you will still have 27 up on the up left and bottom right, you will have 27, okay? Then you're gonna press shift. Um, it's around, and let me see, one, two, three. Three rows uh, just underneath shift. And in the third row, you move to the second column, which is just an open dot with um, commas. Okay, press that. At the top, it's written FACT, which is F-A-C-T. Press that. It'll prime factorize it for you. It'll give you three to the exponent of um, three. If you're confused as to what happens there, check um, the video, which is exponents, it's lesson, four or five, lesson four or five, lesson four, I think. Check that video out. And um, that's why I actually showed you how to prime factorize. And even if you go to the first video of exponents, I think I'll, I did explain there how to prime factorize. But the one that I'm definitely sure of, it's lesson four. I think it's lesson four, yes. Um, and then you will get 27 will simply be three two. So you just write it in a simple exponential form. You don't have to give yourself headache, okay? Just 27 simplest exponential form is three cubed. Okay, you're supposed to know that by now. Um, and then you'll end up having the bases are the same on both sides. Equal base, equal exponent, okay? Equal base, equal exponent, which is um, E, B, E. Equal base, equal exponent e b e e okay um in this case you end up having 2x is equal to 3 and when you solve for x x will just be 3 over 2 um that's just an interesting session okay i hope you enjoyed that lesson thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe